What's going on YouTube? Uh, Wesker Griff coming back with a mail day recap video. Uh, got some packages here and some uh, pickups uh, for the various PCs that I want to show off. Uh, been mean to make this video since Sunday, but I uh, had to go to the hospital. Was rushed to the hospital. Uh, just had some really intense, scary pains that were coming from the uh, right side of my body, and uh, here they found a bunch of uh, kidney stones. So, uh, it's just been hell the last couple of days with the pain and uh, trying to get these things passed. But I'm going to see a specialist tomorrow and um, hopefully uh, I get that taken care of. But uh, Denny, Den1013, sent me a really awesome package that I want to show off. But uh, the items are really big and from this angle it's not going to look right and I want to do it with the camera facing me but I look like a mess so I'm just going to wait a couple days to uh, to get that video up so um, I do have some other stuff that I can show off so um, here we go uh, this TTM success is coming out of Phoenix Arizona it's a one on one success coming back from Mr. Uh, Tony LaRussa so he signed this card for me, this Topps Heritage card. Came out really nice. So really happy to add a nice Hall of Fame autograph to the collection. So really cool. And then next I picked this up. Normally I would put this in a separate video as well. But um, this has been in for a couple days. And uh, just want to get this shown off on camera. But this is a huge addition for my Game of Thrones collection. This is a Season 2 case hit autograph of George R.R. R. Martin, the creator of A Song of Ice and Fire and the creator of A Game of Thrones. So, extremely happy to finally add him to the collection. Been trying to get him for a really long time, but was able to finally get him. So, really happy about that. And then next, I picked this up for my Phillies PC. Uh, got a great price on this. Uh, this is out of Bowman's Best 2016. This is the base autograph of Mickey Moniak. Uh, the seller listed this for $50 or best offer. I sent him an offer for $30 and he accepted. So really happy to add a Moniak for $30. So I got a nice price on that. Uh, next, I got my PSA grades in from Mark CarterFan93. Uh, this was from the January submission, and I sent six cards in. Uh, the first card here is the 2016 Panini Donruss Carson Wentz. Came back a mint nine. And uh, this card was from the Hanger Pack, the Team Hanger uh, set that they sell. So that came back a nine, which is pretty decent. And uh, this was also from the hanger, uh, from a separate hanger that I bought at Target. Uh, this came back at Gem Min 10 now, 2016 Panini Donruss, Gem Min 10 Carson Wentz. So I finally got a Gem Min 10 on a Carson Wentz that I submitted, so I'm happy about that. Then next, really excited about this one. This is the Topps Chrome. 2015 Chris Bryant rookie card came back at Gem Min 10. So, really, really excited about that one. Nice Chris Bryant, one of the hottest players in the game right now. Then, I picked this up for the Sixers PC. I bought this card off of COMC 2014 Panini Hoops, Joel Embiid, the process. Came back at Gem Min 10. So, that's nice. Then I also submitted this one uh, that I also got off of COMC and that came back a uh, Mint 9. And then last but not least is a card I had since I was a kid. Uh, just wanted to get this slabbed for my own purposes. Uh, the 1999 Pokemon game Charizard Hollow came back at Excellent 5. And I'm um, kind of surprised with the grade because I thought it would have graded worse. Because I'm not sure if you can see it on here, but there's so many foil marks on the card uh, from Playware. And then on the back here, there's a lot of like 
black dots all around here. So I was pretty surprised that I actually did get a 5. I thought maybe it would have got like a 3 or a 4. But either way, probably one of the most, if not the most iconic Pokemon cards. So happy to just add that to the collection since I've had it since I was little. Uh, so there's that. And then last but not least, I got a package from Mike O. He hit me up a couple days ago. And apologies, Mike, I know this has been in for a couple days now. Uh, but let me show off what he sent. He put Ed. Just a few extras I had laying around Mike O. And he sent me this really nice Juan Samuel. Uh, 89 tops, I believe, style. So that's cool. Send me some cards here. We got a Miguel Franco and a Mike Schmidt. Oh, there's another one, another Schmidt. So that's cool. Then he sent me this nice prism of Legarrett Blunt, who is the new Eagles running back. So I really like that sign in. It's nice to get a guy who uh, has been to the Super Bowl and who has won it, and uh, that's good for the young players to. Uh, have a person who's been through uh, been through the battles and know what it takes to get over the hump. Then Mike also sent me this, this really nice Pat Neshek custom autograph. So, looks beautiful, Mike. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Looks really, really awesome. Then some uh, photography that Mike took at Citizens Bank Park. I was supposed to go to uh, the game today, but that's... Obviously not going to happen. Aaron Nola. Nice jumbo size rookie card. I think this was one of the stadium giveaways. So very cool. And then a couple Orioles cards. We got Jim Palmer. And a nice Bowman's Best Manny Machado. So thank you Mike. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you to Mark for doing the submission. And guys, I hope everyone out there is doing well. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. So take care, everyone. Thank you very much. Peace.